How's it going everyone? This is Wimbo. Today we are going to have a quick Blender lighting tutorial again about Apple Watch. I assume most of you guys have already seen this image right here is when the Apple released their Apple Series 8. And I personally don't own this watch, but the first time when I saw this pictures when they released the Apple Watch, I was amazed. Solely because I'm a product photographer. Here's a couple of reasons I'm going to break down why I really love this image and anything cool about this. And also we are going to relight this whole situation inside the blender and show you how they do it. So without further ado, let's get started. First, when I saw this image, I'm thinking if I can recreate this image inside Blender. I'm definitely not encouraging people to replicate the images and the stealing ideas. But what I'm trying to approve one point is that Blender is powerful enough in 3D. You really don't need anything fancier than Blender to render great images like this. For this example, as you can see here, we have two watch over here. One thing, this image break a rule that when you're photographing a product, like smaller product, like a watch, you're usually trying to use a micro lens, some kind of camera focal lens is close to 100 millimeter. However, obviously this image using a wide angle lens is super cool. And one thing I want to point out is not a good way to, when you're doing this type of image, when you new brand or when people don't know what your product looks like, they have no expectation. So I'm not recommend product photographer going with this type of look just for the sake of a big brand did it. In my opinion, the reason they decide to use a very wide perspective when they're shooting a product is because they believe most people already know what Apple Watch looks like and feel like and been seeing. This is the Series 8. The general design for the Apple Watch have not really switched a whole lot compared to a previous series. So when they launch a new product line, they're trying to separate the Apple Watch 8 series compared to the Apple Watch 7 series. For this visual, it totally did it because this perspective. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is if you look very close to this photo and you realize this is two different texture of the body that's representing the variety of this watch. And also this is not a one single image in shooting with lighting setup or rendering with light setup. In my experiences, this image is actually shooting or lighting two different watches with two different lighting setup. And each lighting setup is designated to lighting one single watch. And so once they finish that, and then they merge into one single photo. So this is going to be our lighting approach in this tutorial inside Blender. So now it's perfect time to get back inside Blender and see what we can do in here. Now I'm inside Blender. As you can see here, we already have a render preview, but this is not really the final result because look at the reference image in here. We have beautiful highlight and we have more details on lighting in here. And we are going to break down this lighting process into two parts. One part is for the top watch, the other part for the lower watch. So let's get started with the top part. And as you can see here, we have a lighting in here. If I'm open this thing up, and getting everything light up. This looks very similar to what we're trying to accomplish in here. A couple of highlights on each side and we are illuminating the very reflective surface of this watch. And if you go in inside here, you can see here, if I'm closing the light one by one, I'm using the plane as my lighting materials. And this is one thing that I often use when I'm lighting my product inside Blender is using a emission shader and the image textures and also a mapping node and texture coordinator. You will be able to access these textures if you want my Patreon. And also I have a separate tutorial talking about the image textures and you can watch that and you can even do that by yourself inside of Photoshop. And notice on the background side of the world tab, everything has been disconnected. However, you already saw there is HDRI image hooked earlier just for a preview purpose because the entire image we are going to light it our own. The having a HDRI is not going to help to achieve that result, no matter what kind of HDRI you're going to use. So we now have full control over our lighting. I'm going to enable the first light, which is the light really illuminating the each side of it, creating the beautiful highlight on the side. 
and the second line I'm building is from the top side. As you can see here, I'm trying to getting some light over the top and reflecting the surface of this kind of very smooth metal surface. And then the third light I'm adding on is just to building a really nice ring light from the back to kind of highlight this area of this watch. And like this, it's very nice to highlight this watch. And then I'll keep adding another light to illuminating the front face of this watch. So the light is actually down here. So you can you can actually manipulating and changing the how brightness going on here. But the whole purpose in here is kind of creating a gradient of light across the face. So this is kind of like what I'm going to render for the top part. And when I render the top part, I don't want to render the black part. I only want to render a watch and with a transparent. So what you can do here, you go to the render property and then you enable the transparent. Once you did that, then you should be able to just only render this part when you do that. And that's the lighting from the top watch. And then we're gonna go to the lower watch. So if I enable this folder, now you'll see the lower watch. We'll have more lighting down here, simply because we have more details we're trying to show in here. So I'm disable all that and making sure I have the lower watch. Now let's get it started one by one. So having one watch, definitely I need to have a rim light on the both side. And as you can see here, it looks closely, you can see this is a kind of a matte surface that the, the Apple watch is trying to represent it. Then right here, it's not really smooth like metal part of it. So this is kind of something that we want highlighted. And then of course, adding another light to getting the highlight on the top in order to show the different texture of this watch face. And so we have that done. And adding a, another light down here to creating a gradient from the backside to cross, make the lighting fading across the, uh, the top edge and to the other side. So the brightest part on here is over here. So I can see here the lighting is on the far away, but uh, it's because the top watch is really reflective, you'll be able to having the light across over to see that. And another light we're adding on is just very tiny light right here. You can see here, this is the light we're trying to illuminating some details in here doing this. It's very subtle, very minor. However, it's actually adding a good amount of layer on this watch and make it look more greedy, okay? And then one more, two lights actually, is to illuminating on the both side. You can see here, these two light is illuminating the band. We have some details on the band side of this watch. So really highlighting the curve and the beautiful design of this Apple watch. So that's what we're having here. One last light you can see here, this is called a dial light. And we don't have a whole lot of details by using all these big general light because this is a very small part. So I'm actually creating another dial light just for that. So you can see here, we have some beautiful details down here. However, if you're just rendering this image like that, you will have a really ugly reflection on the top. It's just simply because the top watch is, is very reflective. It's going to showing everything around it. So what you can do here, you are going to render one image just like this. And the second image, you're gonna render it, just disable this one, render with that, and then using the layer mask to kind of mask this part out inside of Photoshop. So this is how product photographers do, and also a lot of advertising photographers are doing this to they merge multiple images of a product to make it look one single hero image. It's just simply because some products using multiple different materials on their products and make it look very complex, looks pleasing to the eyes, However, when you're lining them, you have to separate them out and merge them back inside of Photoshop to have in that hero look. You can see that that's all the lighting and we have like a total 10 lights going on here in order to getting that beautiful watch illuminating. And here's my final result. I hope you enjoyed this lighting tutorials. If you enjoyed this type of content, let me know in the comments. And also if you have any other product images that you want to know lighting. If you can relight it inside Blender, let me know in the comment. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next time. Bye.